Hi everyone, today I will talk about a new plugin that I've been developing. It is called the Obsidian uh, Incomplete Files. So what it do is that uh, it will help you check uh, your files based on some rules to see if they are incomplete or not. Um, there are some features and then you can check out these features on GitHub and then you can also uh, install it through Brads to test it out. Um, and yeah, there are some uh, com uh, default rules uh, that uh, is enabled by default. Um, for example, the empty contents rule. The empty contents rule means that uh, if there is a file that has no contents at all, it will be uh, it, it will have this uh, issue here. Uh, if you write something and then this issue will gone and yeah, you can see that the issue is gone and yeah. And for the uh, empty contents headings rule is that uh, if if you have a if you have a um, heading with no contents, it will it will be um, it will be considered as incomplete. For example, if I write something here, you can say that you can see that the Heian period is uh, the issue for Heian period is uh, is gone uh, because I type something. But if I yeah, if I undo it, like it will, it will come. Out, uh, the issue will come out, and yeah, you can see that uh, um, here change this panel change, and then you can also see that uh, from from uh, here the state spot item it will change as well. And the incomplete syntax, I give you a very handy incomplete syntax to talk about uh, what things, uh, what, whether the things are incomplete. For ex because I found that uh, sometimes when I write long articles, I want to uh, revisit it many times. And even like for the notes that I've been uh, written, uh, uh, while it, sometimes I don't even consider it as complete yet. So maybe I will. Uh, uh, do a quick examples of like let's say a uh, base dash oh okay this is clearly incomplete a uh, simple database ui so i will like uh write a write an incomplete syntax here incomplete uh what is is like uh what or i would say need more contents here yeah and then you can see that uh here it shows up uh there's an issue uh it this heading is incomplete uh this incomplete syntax will associate with this heading so you can have like a multiple uh heading two heading three right and then um and then like you can associate with these headings um need more contents right you can see that our uh, heading three is incomplete because need more contents what is it is incomplete because need more contents right and then um uh so this is very useful let's say i take this base dash node as an example um like uh i will, I will write how to use it uh alternatives and comparison because like this is a sauce that I have been using and I will I want to know more about an alternative or not uh, as well but I don't have the time to check it out yet so so I will write here and then pricing and then tips of using it things like that and then I can see that yeah I have like a couple of issues for this node and if I finish this all, I will consider this node as complete. Of course, like sometimes, uh, there 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 are times that okay, uh, even the structure is a bit weird. The notes of the uh, the structure of the notes is a bit weird. You still want to consider it as complete. So how you can do that is that I allow you to set a complete property here. So I will, let's say I, will, I want to set uh, when the property is complete true, uh, it will consider as complete. So if I here set it uh, as complete true, you can see that it's gone. The file is considered as complete. If I toggle this complete uh, uh, property, it will shows up, right? Here is complete, so the uh, so the issue is gone. If I toggle this now, the 
node is incomplete and it is uh it will it will show us again. So this property will override um the 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 checkers, the scanner, the issue scanner, right? And then I also uh, give you some uh, like uh, uh, utilities here. You can expand and collapse all the issues. You can uh, see all the issues in in a glance. And then you can also uh, sort the issue, uh, sort the file by names, and then sort it by times. Let's say you can see that like this file is the latest update, and then uh, these files are not uh, 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 like the. The bottom, the file at the bottom is like the the last update files here, right? And then uh, I can also give you some uh, views. For example, icon views. You can uh, only uh, so this view is a com is like a compact views that uh, you can see uh, like uh, all the all the issues here, and then you can also group by uh, sort by issues. Right, you can also sort by issues, so you can see like you can go to different issues very easily, right? So yeah, and you uh, I allow you to ignore some folders in the settings. I allow you to uh basically uh remove uh, like uh notes uh very easy uh, uh rules very easily, and if you uh re enable it. It will just like reanalyze your valves like very quickly. Probably it takes depends on how large your valve is. Like for my valves, is there there's like uh a thousand files, and then it might take let me um it might take me like like twenty seconds, I guess, to to reanalyze all the files, and yeah. But like uh once you uh reanalyze your valve. This plugin will catch the result, so it will not uh go re reanalyze your valve uh, every time. Uh, like uh, it will just analyze that files when you make a change to that file. So this is uh this plugin is, is very this plugin is very efficient, uh in in terms of performance. Uh right. So uh I also allow you to create um. Uh, new rules for for people to add new rules very easily. Uh, so how you can add new rules is that you go to the rules and then there are some folders here. So basically, you need to uh add an enum here, add an enum. So it I will tell. So this is the identifier of the rule, and then basically you you create a f uh, functions like this. Uh, so uh the basic thing is that the basic thing here is that the rules has an icon has an icon and then there's an issue type there's an issue type and then um and then like there is a settings for uh like you 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 create settings here so that like user can toggle it in the setting tabs and then like how you check the file for example this file uh this issue scanner will check uh whether the file has no content at all, so it will check. Oh, if the file has no content at all, it will simply return an issue, right? So this, uh, so this is like uh the interface. You can you can help you can check all the TypeScript interface here, which allow you to uh see um or 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 how how to create issue very quickly, um a uh, issue checker issue scanner very easily, right? So um yeah. This is like uh, my this is my uh, my new plugin. I hope you like it, and I hope you find it useful as well. Uh, I find it particularly useful for my uh, writing styles because I tend to write uh, outlines, and then I don't um, and then, and that uh, sometimes if I have time, I will continue. Uh, work on it. If I don't have time, I'll just remove the notes. I some people say that um. Some people say that uh you can uh like um kind of like do the same effect uh using links because uh Obsidian allowed you to link to a file that does uh link to a notes that doesn't exist. So and then you can also see it in the graph view. But I just don't find it uh very natural for me to create all these um um uh uh uncreated links. Uh I just I just don't find it um, <clears throat> suitable for my writing styles, and I feel like 
uh, simply write the headings here, and then I can see all the all, all the incomplete notes in a glance. That is very useful for me. And I hope you uh, uh, find some germs in this video. I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you like my plugin. If you like it, um, please like and subscribe my channel. Yeah. Um, that's it. See you next time.